Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 3 of Hypovolemia, a mod pack by Caitlyn. So in the next, last episode, I finalized my altar setup, which is really nice. I reconnected my power down here. So now I have power, I can put more blood dynamo if I need it. It's ugly as hell, but it's working. And I put down more alt altars, three more, so I can do stones like this. I'm going to grab this, I don't want these right now. Uh, so three more altars like this and two with the divination altar diviner so i can make more uh slates and this is for my blood network i also put basic fluid tank right here and what i've been doing let me go grab some bucket i'm going to make two more because i want to make a crusher and i know i'm going to need this so let's just get rid of this and i can show you what i've been doing so what i've been doing is grabbing on to lifeblood like this and I can use these two and I've been making lava I'm gonna grab this lava bucket in a moment the moment it transforms and I've been really made myself able to do way more so I'll grab these two I'm also gonna grab this tank and we're going to do a little bit of questing so the first thing I want to do is I want to progress in mechanism. So if I come back here in the quests and I go to mechanism, uh, I want to get, what I really want to is get to this quest right here, but I need to do this one first, triple it. With two more machines, I can get even more out of the ores. First, I'll put them into a purification chamber. So it wants us to make a purification chamber, which is made from an enrichment chamber, which require basic controls and so, Enrichment uh, purification chamber, like so, is going to require an enrichment chamber. I'm going to be making two machines, so I'm going to make two uh, casing right now. One, two, uh, grab these, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like so. And then I need osmium, one, two, I have more osmium, I, I cook some, yeah, right here, perfect. Then uh, I can now make the purification chamber. So I'm gonna need some basic control circuits. I'm gonna need two like this that I'm gonna transform into the next tier. And can I click? No, I can't. So like this, like this, like this, like this. Oh wait, I need to make this one first. So let's make this one first. <gasps> Sometimes shift clicking is so dangerous and scary. So this and this and two, three, four. Oh, am I doing the right thing? Basic purifying factory. Yeah, so it's two. Oh, I made the wrong thing. So this and this. And re Oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, Whew. So I have an enrichment chamber here. I didn't do what I want to do, so nope, not this. I need the enrichment chamber. So let's grab this. And I made an enrichment factory, which is something I wanted in the future anyway. Basically, this is tripling our, our output. But, and you know what? I'm gonna show you. I, I'm gonna need some more of these basic controls. So you put this Oh, it's not the right one. Hmm. Yeah, so this is the one that if I go like this and I put three and I put Otisort, it's gonna make three of these at the same time. So it's not a bad machine to have, but it's not the one I wanted to make. So enrichment chamber right here. Oh, these machines are so noisy. One, two, three, four. And these are iron, I believe. Iron and iron, nope. So it must be osmium, 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 purification chamber. I have no intention of using that one right now. I just made it for the quest. So now I can go to the book and to the quest and claim the reward. Now I can make crush of clumps. The clumps from the purification needs to be crushed. After crushing, I can use my old enrichment chamber for the, uh, for whatever. So now I need a crusher. Crusher. Oh boy, crusher. Okay, perfect. 
And just before I do that, let me grab a diamond and do like so and so. Perfect. And let's go right here. And we're going to put one of these and eight of these. Like so. Perfect. So I'm going to make more control circuit. So crusher. Oh. So it was a good thing that I started making some. I need two of these. And it's going to be lava, bucket, and floor. So one moment and I should get that. Gimme, 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 gimme. Perfect. So now it's one and two and this and lava bucket, lava bucket. And for redstone, like this, which makes a crusher for the quest. But I really want to make a factory. Factories. Ooh, basic crushing factory. All these machines can be improved to build multiple items at a time. There are several tiers to each. Let's start with the crusher. So I guess that when I make the basic enriching factory that it counted, but technically it's asking for this one. So let's put this one and these and these four. One, two, three, four. And then let's grab those four and let's go. One, two. Huh? Crusher. Crusher. Oh. Dirt. It's with uh, redstone. So redstone like this. And so this is a basic crushing factor. Now, this is noisy as all hell. So I'm going to put it here. The only reason I'm putting it back there is that it's going to be a little bit less noisy, but not that much. So basic crushing factory. Going to put the auto sword off, and now it's going to transform cobblestone into um, gravel. So put all of these in, grab these, and I have to go a bit far to not have the noise. So now I, I want a flint for my. I'm just I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so let's forget the flint for now, and let's continue with the questing. So claim this reward. We're going to be done with this quest line for now. Chemical injection chamber. Like, and this is a more advanced factory. Like I don't have any rush doing this right now. So if I come back here, uh, I want to make uh, coal. Similar but not the same. Carbon purified by blood. So I want to purify 20 charcoals. But I don't really want to purify 20. And I'm going to explain why. What I want to do, well, not explain, I'm going to show you. I'm going to purify 35. And the reason I'm going to purify 35 is that I need, uh, not 35, 36? 36 plus 9 is 45. Yes, 36. So let's come right here. And there's 3600. So it's 100 LP each. So this altar is going to transform all of this in one go. And then. And then, and then, and then, I'm going to split the slate in two. Uh, no, these are tier one altars. So, no. I'm just going to wait for this to finish. Anytime soon, boys. Ooh, more slates ready. Perfect. This is taking forever. So, I need at least 20. I made 36. So now if I come back here, this first should be done. And I can transform the rest into block of coal. I'm gonna put down this. Yeah, the block of coal. That's what I wanted to put down. No. So I'm gonna put down this alchemistry set. And we're going to go to the next quest. So if I come back out, next quest is making a diamond. Do I even need them? They say your last clothes has no pocket. So it wants us to make a diamond, which we've already made, but I want to show you the process. So we're going to make one. We need five block of coal and we need a better blood orb. If you go cycle through them, it doesn't show the tier one blood orb. So if we come back here and we go to offering more, the orb of power tier two. While improving my altar, I should not forget to also improve the orbs I use. They can hold more blood in my network, can fill it up faster, and are needed for better offering and craft. Wants us to make an apprentice blood orb, which is going to require a block of iron and 12,000 uh, 12, LP. Which is more than I have in my altars, but I'm going to use a golden apple and my sacrificial 
dagger, and I'm just going to eat my way into success. Oh. Let's go up here. I'm going to wait for the altar. I'm going to need to break this. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need to break this. So I put this in and it started and I need to put blood in it. I'm going to let it go below 9000 and then I'm going to prick myself and eat the apple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty. So I've put three thousand more in the altar than I needed, which means that I'm going to be okay for sure now. Like I'm no longer concerned that this is going to fail. It's impossible that it fails because I put at least 4,000 in the altar. So it's just going to complete the process. Now we've completed this and this is the beauty and why I did this. Now I can do it again and I'm going to get sand. So we now have an altar free way of making sand, which is really, really important. We're gonna wait for this and now that we're gonna have our blood orb we're gonna be able to make our first diamond and as we said i i already made i already got some diamond but i never made one so i just want to make one for the quest so let me just come back here and see how things are going here at these i have the compressed diamond so i get the compressed diamond because i want to make these enriched alloy into the second level get rid of this, get rid of this rid of all of this i'm going to need my lava tank right here and i'm going to want to get four buckets just to make things easier one two one two one two like so perfect and while we're waiting i'm going to grab a couple of red rock blocks because when we go to the nether we might need to block some lava or pillar or do stuff like that so in the nether there is lava sometimes as veins or as block in the world but there isn't like if you get to the bottom of the nether is blood so it's not they didn't make it easier to uh like i can't just go at the bottom and grab as much lava as i want like lava is a limited thing so let's grab all of this and my orb should be ready i'm just going to get to 64 56, 58, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. Great. And now we can go back to our altar and our apprentice orb should be over. Ready? Yeah. We're going to, I can show you now. See, it doesn't have my name. Right click. Now it's locked to my name. I can come back here and I can put this in. And I can go five blocks of coal. And while we're waiting for this, I'm going to get started for the next quest. So I'm going to need lava, lava, water, water. Let's grab all of these seeds. Perfect. And bring it back here. How many? Oh, only two. And we have our diamond. So that's the proof that I can do the quest. So now I'm comfortable. Oh, I can clean this quest. Oh, <laughs> I need to have this. Oh, and the guy's gonna start talking. Blueberry bushes can grow orbs. These can be smelted into ingots. To plant them, you need to make a dark room like you would make for mushrooms. You can plant them on any solid block like the red rock. The darker it is, the faster it will grow. The plant first undergoes three stages of growth. When it reached its maximum size, a full block, it will start to grow the berries. You can simply harvest them by right-clicking the bush. Okay, so it's finally telling us about orberry bush after all this time. We know about orberry bush. And by the way, I'm going to need to come here at some point with my sigil of the green grove just to grow them. But now we should be able to continue with the quest. So let's... I started putting these here because I was running out of space. 
So let's just get back away from here, and we have a quest to claim here, right here. Okay, and this is one weird, annoying thing. I'm going to put this down for whatever reason. He gave us Molten Iron and Liquid Iron. Sorry, a car passed by. So they're the same, but they're not the same. So if you put them in here, they're going to act differently. And if you have, sometimes if you try to put in and it's not going up, it's because if you look here, you'll have 36 milli bucket of something left or eight milli bucket. Okay, so let's go to the next quest. Next quest is about the nether portal. It wants us to make more hell. This afterlife seems to have a link to another hell. It even seems that I cannot reach the gods. They're it there. Uh, it full of eight and danger. Okay, that's almost English. So, need to put these two in and this in. And this is going to make lava. Uh, no, an obsidian. That's why I prepared the 10 buckets. I knew about this. Grab these two buckets and go one for this and one for that. Come back, switch those in, take those out. And that's just a rinse and repeat process until we get until we flood or or berries or until we get 10 so this and this come here put these in take them out water and lava again take them out um and back six and that's going to be seven that's going to be eight we have oh two left to do Come back, nine, and now we only have one left to do. And that's going to be 10, and that's going to be all of our lava. So, next step now. So now we need to put the portal somewhere, and we need to uh, go to the nether. So first off, we're gonna need a flint and steel, and we're going to rely on good old Minecraft mechanic to transform uh, gravel into flint. We got our first flint, so we're already good. Now we can make our flint and steel. And once we go in the nether, there is a chance that we're going to encounter lava. You can find lava in pockets, but not at the bottom. So I want to bring this fluid tank, but I want to make it bigger and better in case I find a lot of lava. I'm gonna put it in bucket mode and I'm going to try to get as much lava as possible. So this is the second tier and the third tier is these blue ones. So that's kind of why I started preparing them. Huh? Did... Oh yes, I put them there. I was like, did I not make these? I'm sure I made some. So one, two, three, four. I prepare a Tom War, five, six, seven, eight. I got a better tank. Okay, so we're going to the nether, which is a dangerous thing. We're not going to bring most of our stuff. So we need torches, we need a weapon, we need this, we need food, we need the obsidian, don't need the buckets, and we need some building material. So my idea is I'm gonna put the um, the portal a bit away because three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I'm going to put it fifteen away so that hopefully the noise is not going to be as bad. And so that if uh, pigmen come, there's a good chance they might fall in the water and just leave me alone. So like this and well not in the water and the blood and like this and like this don't make a mistake because these blocks are annoying to pick up oh and one block here and two like so perfect i'm just going to get that one back and what i'm going to do is drop in the blood of course I'm going to put one torch right here and one torch right here because I want to make sure that no mobs spawn on this bridge. Now we're ready. Let's go to the nether and let's hope we end up in a good spot. Oh! What the heck is wrong with this lava? Okay, so good thing we brought a bucket. But as you can see, sometimes 
this is what happened is that on loading the world is like broken but now oh, the moment you take one piece like i'm sure you've seen this before where you're in a world and there's like sand and sands on like there's sand at the top level and the moment you walk into the world the sand stop fall falling so well, this is what's happening with this lava so it's a good thing that one we have a bucket and it's a good thing that we have building material because oh god this could have been so bad this is so scary already we're in the nether which is super dangerous and on top of that we have flowing lava but the reason I'm not going to complain so much is we want lava so bad. So I'm just going to be happy that we have this much lava. And I'm going to do what I need to do to pick it all up. Oh, and are we in a cavern? That's probably the worst place to start. And I'm running out of blocks, but that shouldn't be so bad because I think we're also running out of lava to pick up. This. And that's going to be the last. <sighs> but I, I'm going to need to light the place now. So light, light, light. I'm going to put a light on this and light and light and this is only one block perfect take that okay so we're going to do a little bit of cleanup i'm going to grab all of this and by the way these um pigmen as long as we don't break any nether ports or stuff like that they should leave us alone so i'm not or unless we hurt them which is also not a good idea so i don't have any intention of hurting them and now i'm i feel like i should have brought a shovel I could have picked up all of this gravel. Okay, so we have journey map on this and I'm going to do something really important. This is not cheating in my mind, this is using the pack. So I'm gonna go journey map and I'm going to put a waypoint new and I'm going to say uh, portal home. Service them by right clicking the bush. So that I can always find my way home. So this, 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 this. And let's grab this lava. If I didn't have enough space in my bucket, what I would do at this point is I would just um, destroy the lava with a block. But as long as I have space in my bucket, I want this juicy, juicy lava. So how many buckets do I have? It doesn't tell me. I'm going to have to put it down to note. I don't want to put it down right now. So we're going to find it out later. Oh, and my, so let's take it out of bucket mode and put it down, 56 bucket of lava. Yep, this is amazing. And there's more here. So what I'm going to do is I'm at least going to cut it up like this. Perfect, let's just be careful not to die in lava. Uh, this and this. And this. Did it kill the mushroom? I hope. I really wanted that mushroom. Oh well. So now I'm just going to wait for the lava to finish despawning. And we're going to go and see if we can find some glowstone. And we're going to be very careful about mobs. Mobs are dangerous in the nether. I can already hear a dog. See that dog right here? He's going to attack me, so I might as well. Let's just aggro him. They're kind of easy to kill, so I'm not that worried. I'm worried about getting hit by surprise. And voila, perfect. And it's giving us some dog tongues for later when we're doing magic or witchery or something like that so let's come right here and right here oh i thought I thought there was glowstone here 
Okay, so this is a dangerous spot and it's not the right spot. So let's just grab my torches because I don't have that many. Grab this and this and let's go down this way. I have to be careful. There's also some, uh, I don't remember the name. There's some, something with a name, sparks or I don't remember what they're called. So kill this but always be careful not to hit one of the pigmen because if we hit one of the zombie pigmen we're going to have a really bad time so nothing down this way nothing down this way and we're going to have to dig across at least there isn't uh, a gas well we're going to need gas at some point so at some point we're going to want some but there isn't Oh yes, a nether forest. We're also going to need a nether forest. So that's always a scary thing because what if where you spawn, there isn't a nether forest close by. That could be a problem. Uh, let's just continue down this way. And I feel like I didn't bring enough torch. So I might need to go back just to get more torch. And if, ooh, and if I need more torches, let me just, oh, this is not good. Let's, buy, let's build the stairs down. Not enough. Perfect. Let's build a four-way back stairs. And this, this is a good building block anyway. So I'm happy to get those block. Perfect. I'm sorry if I'm not talking this much, but there isn't much to say right now. I just need to... <laughs> Not thought. Oh, I can hear a. I can hear a ghast. This is not good. Where the heck is all my glowstone? And I'm I'm out of torch. Okay, so I don't have a choice. I have to go back. I'm going to go and make more torches. This is not what I wanted to do. I kind of don't have a choice though. And I can't see any glowstone any closer. This is really crazy. So it's not a bad spawn, but it's not a great spawn because glowstone is kind of far. Let's just go back home quickly and let's get this resolved. Grab a shard of gluttony. I think these are, so there's a thing called shedding. And I think that in this mod pack, mobs shed their drops. So you have a chance of finding just drops all over the place. Let's go back home and let's come back here and let's get rid of this, let's get rid of this, let's get rid of these things. Let's just grab wood and uh, you know what, let's make more than I intend but I don't want to be stuck again so let's do this and this and while we're here I'm also going to make another pickaxe because I've, oh, keep these torches and I'm going to make another pickaxe because my pickaxe right now is pretty damaged. So let's put this in here, this in here, and <laughs> let's grab this iron. Did I not have, no, that was steel. Okay, so let's put this iron in like so, and let's make two buckets, uh, not two buckets, two pickaxes and I'm just gonna take one with me and what's in here so this one's empty so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to upgrade it the only reason I'm upgrading it is I'm going back and there's still some some what's the upgrade oh okay so I'm going back and there's still some goodies to be grabbed, so let's just, uh, some more lava to be grabbed, wow. And because, you know what, I have the four, that seems excessive, but these resources are so not expensive, there's no point not benefiting from the lava. So let's just grab this, and voila, we're ready to go back. Go back. Okay. 
And oh, I didn't. I should have made a shovel. Oh well. Bucket mode and grab. So there was a block here, but I couldn't pick it up. That's really bizarre. Whatever. I'm sure there's plenty more lava this way. And ah, it has molten iron in it. <laughs> Remember what I said about the iron? Yeah, this is what I meant. Whoa! Oh, this is so not good. I guess we found the gas. So, I don't know if I want to try and fight the gas. Nope. Probably don't want to try and fight the gas. The problem is, I'm probably not going to have a choice. Go this way. Let's see if we can go and try and get our our stuff. So, oh, this is not good. I found the glowstone. Right here. Oh wow, look at this nice flat space. Okay, don't know what's going on with the gas, but at this point I'm not caring so much. Let me just put this down and let's see if I can get across this way. Hopefully there's no stupid... Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and tuttle down again. I'm so happy I made another pickaxe and this is how is this? Oh yes! Haha! -ha, yes, perfect. What's back here? All good. What's back? Oh blaze! Oh this is amazing. I'm going to need some blaze rod at some point, and you know what? Let's where is the easiest uh, where are you shooting from oh boy no this is not a good spot let me kill this thing oh do you see in the back this is the thing i was talking about these little uh, his, uh sparks that are flying Okay, it's gone back. You know what? I'm gonna go this way. There's a patch of glowstone right here. This is so scary. Right here. So let's try this. I'm gonna do the safest, not safest. <laughs> I'm gonna do the worst thing you can do. It's pillaring up. This is just asking for me to die, by the way. But I just want the glowstone. I just want the glowstone. Perfect. I need 32. 4, 8, 12, 16. I'm holding shift, by the way, so that I won't fall on the ground. This glowstone is all falling to the ground. I'm going to pick this all up. This is going to be 32. I'm going to be good and happy. Oh, I just panicked. I'm being quiet because I'm so semi-panicked right now. No, 
this is the other way. Okay, this is where we need to be. So let's go this way and break these blocks. And then we're going to come down here and pick up all that beautiful glowstone. As long as I don't hit them or break their quartz or whatever, I should be good. Perfect, I can move here. Yeah, I've got more than a stack. Let's get out. Get out. I really don't care what it breaks behind me. I just want to leave. And this is the way back home. Wow, the nether is really stressful in this game. Let's go out. Oh, yes. So I'm not intending on coming back to the nether until we have better equipment. Like I need something to shoot from afar, like a bow and some arrow, something like that, because I'm gonna need to kill these blaze. And, oh, of course, there's gonna be a dog back where I need to leave, but these are easy to kill. Voila, oh, a head. And let's leave. We've survived the nether, guys, and we can now have a tier three altar. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's come back here and let's see if I take this elite fluid tank. This is molten iron. This is molten iron. So now I can empty this. And now I'm gonna be able to use that one. Wow, this was so annoyingly stupid. Let's come back here, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this and all of this and let's claim the quest. Detection, 32 glowstone, done, perfect. <laughs> Let's get rid of this and this. We need 16, like so. And if I back out of here and I come to offering more, tier three, larger altar, more power, better offering, glowstone. Oh, so the tier three altar also needs 20 uh, runes. So let me grab this, let me grab this, let me grab my... A uh, blood room, sorry, not rooms. So if I do this and I do this and I go split this in two, split this in two, in two, one, two, three, four, that's going to be 20, 20, vroop, and vroop, and craft this. And let's go and make herself a tier three altar right now. So I told you these blocks are the one that I break and that I don't care, and I replace with blood rooms. So, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now let's do these. I'm just going to grab this first. Two, three, four, five. Four, five. Other side now. Let me pick this up first. So, one, two, Three, four, five. And the last side. One, two, three, four, five. So this is not the complete altar. I need to get out of here, come back here. You know what? Let me just make more of these stone. 32 should be enough and grab my divination sigil right here So even though this kind of looks good. Oh It was already completed all around third. I didn't need to make this so if I look at this. This is a tier 2 altar all I need to do now is one two three four and we now have a tier three altar. And the reason this is nice and beautiful, let's put this in here and while we're at here, no, I can't do that. So this now slate is going to go to tier two. In a moment. Hello. 
Okay, this is oh, tier two. So I wanted to show you reinforced light. With a reinforced light, we can make a couple of things. Nothing too important though right here. We can make imbued slate, which needs a tier three. Okay, so with a tier two, we could make the air sigil, sigil, but we need feather, we can't do right now. Void is to destroy block. Uh, sigil of the fast miner to mine faster, but we can now start making rune of sacrifices, which I don't care. Rune of self-sacrifice, which I don't care. Ritual stones that we're going to need for later, but not that much. What's really interesting though, is if I put it back in again, this is going to transform into the third tier of slate, and these are super interesting. While we're waiting, let's come back here. So this is, look at everything that it opened. It also opened Orbs of Power Tier 3. Let's grab this right here. And with these slates, you know what? How much is in my altar? I'm going to put another one to transform. So the magician's blood orb simple gold is not enough anymore for the gods so we're going to need a block of gold and twenty-five thousand lp so this one is going to require some potion of regeneration to be able to make and we're probably going to want to make it sooner rather than later now see it's not putting it in because now it needs more power i do intend making more of these altar by the way because it's so important and I don't want to be blocked. So right now, there's nothing really much more I want to do other than this insight sig sigil of sight. And it's fairly simple to make. Ooh, I can already make this. So I'm going to leave this here. Let's go make, I, I want to show you why I want this one. So if I come back here, it's going to give me all of the sand in the world. I'm going to need to make two sets of glass. Uh, you know what? Four sets of glass. And the reason I'm going to make four sets of glass is uh, there's a problem with the sigil of insight, and I'm going to show you in a moment. This is like my one last thing for this episode, by the way. So this is going to transform into glass. This, once this hit 5,000, will just go in. So I'm going to make another sigil. So I'm going to grab this, uh, a slate and seven and this is going to give me a divination sigil that i'm going to put in here with a bucket of blood bucket of blood right here and this is going to give me the second sigil and i'm going to show you why so this is one little annoying bit if i click on the ground see it doesn't give me my ne my network power. So I to know how much essence I have in my network, I still need the first level. But the beauty of this one is look, 27%, 33%. It now tells you the progress of the creation of the item that you're making. So these two sigil are very important. You really need both. By the way, one thing that I don't think I've mentioned if you, if I take the sigil and you took, like, took a look at my screen top left, well, a bit lower than top left, you see like a bar with some red. That's the how much essence we have in our um, in our network. And the reason it's low is because we have the smaller orb that permits five thousand. We don't have this one that permits way more. So that's, is that all I want to do for this episode? Let me come back here, did I die? You know what, let's finish. There's two quests in here. We're gonna finish this quest line. So first we're going to need to make this logical sorter. Logical sorter, I don't intend using it right now. Logistical, I don't know when and if I'm going to use it, but I just wanna make it so that at least it's done. So like this and I need some standard cobblestone right here, and I'm really low on cobblestone right now. Uh, I'm going to need one iron, and I'm going to need one red, one redstone. I always reverse them. This is so annoying. Then I need this, and I need this, and I need iron all around like this, and voila, perfect. That's gonna give me, uh, I took iron and gold. I'm gonna take another copper this time. 
And for now, I'm just going to throw all of this here. And the last quest is a broken quest. So do you see how all those bones? And then it says no more bones. Well, if you remember, bones is how we make um, planks. But instead, we can use the wood splinter. So if I come here. Oh. Okay, I'm going to use this wood. If I grab four wood like this, this makes 16 wood splinter, which is what this quest wanted us to do because the goal of this quest was to teach us how to do the um, uh, how to do the other way of making wood. Let me grab this. Let me grab this. Let me grab these buckets. Anything else interesting in here for now? No. Put that in here. Perfect. So, as I was saying, this quest is completed, but it's broken. So now we need to do the trick. Open the land, allow cheats on, Slim start land like clicking the bush. Do this and force complete. Get rid of the book again. And now if we come here and let's claim this reward. I have no clue what this is. So this is going to go in the trash. And by in the trash, I mean the bottom of the ocean where it will end up despawning at some point. So, I think that's going to be good for today. That's a good episode. We finished a whole quest line. Did I die? Where am I? All quests completed. Offering more, we moved forward. So, here's the plan. Next episode, we need to get started on a little bit, on a little bit of agriculture. So, next episode, we're going to make the Minitio. We're going to make the Seed Analyzer. We're going to make a sprinkler system. We're going to make a better setup. So, I'm going to go in a time lapse and in my time lapse I still have a dirt problem because dirt I can only make with skull. So I'm going to go back to the main island there and I'm going to collect hopefully a stack of um, a stack of skull because I want to make a lot of dirt because I want to start making a farm setup and depending on how much time I have left I might also make a farm setup. Uh, make the farm setup ready. I want two farms. I want one farm of seven by seven for normal crop growing and I want another for farm of seven by seven to do breathing because all of these seeds they're all level 111 right now and they can become amazing. <coughs> so the other thing I want to do which is very important I need to make this altar better. So the next step it wants us to make some help for what's ahead. Some help for what's ahead. More power, more orbs, more chores. This will aid you. Wants us to make 10 imbued slate. And once we make 10 imbued slate, it's going to give us 8 runes of dislocation and 5 runes of augmented capacity. If I come down here, pumping blood, pumping blood number 2. With so much blood around, you might want to look a bit into the math of the altars to increase the blood flow from external source. The default value that is push pulled every time is 20 LP. We've seen that already. This can be increased with runes of this location. You might want to aim at 20 of them, 20 plus. So I think that the way it works is that every rune of this location add 10% or 20%. So let's say it adds 20% and it's cumulative. You go from 20 to 24. The second one that you add, you go from 24 to 28.4 or 28.2, something like that. And then you go from to 28, from 28 to 34 or something like that, and it just goes up. So it's gonna want us to make one of these. And to make one of these, we're gonna need an imbued slate and four stones and three buckets of water. Oh, wait, I do have that. Okay, give me a moment. I'm going, this is my real, real one, one, real one last thing. So one, two, three. Uh, where's my book? I just don't remember the recipe because my memory is weak. Let's come here. So we need an orb. Can I do this with my... No, okay. So I can't do it because I need the highest tier of blood orb. And that one is going to potentially be complicated because I need 25,000. You know what? I'm going to keep this for next episode. So I'm going to go in my time lapse and in my time lapse, I'm going to make 11 imbued slate because by making 11 imbued slate, 
it's going to give me eight and five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the 10 imbued slate to get this reward and we're going to put all of these runes down. And once all of these runes are down, I'm going to start making my other orb so that I can make more and I'm going to unlock this part. So like I said, we're going to go into time lapse. I'm going to prepare some better slates. And by the way, what I can do now is if I come here, uh, this one, I can put two level two slates because it's 5,000 LP each. So I can put two slates and these two slates are going to transform into, um, they're going to transform into level three, sorry, because it's 5,000 each. Let me just check. Yeah, 5,000. So the moment this hit 10, it's gonna, they're gonna go in and I'm gonna be making two more. I'm also going to need to make more blank slate. So this is going to be a bit painful, but that's why I'm gonna do it in my time-lapse so that we're ready for the next episode where we're going to make the altar so much better. Then we're going to get into crop. So in my time-lapse, gonna make more slate, gonna go and hunt for some skulls back there and uh, we're going to be able to get everything done. So guys, uh, I'm gonna finish on my tier three altar from afar. This looks so cool. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.